Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I'm back with another review, and today we are taking a look at the Rise of the Beast Studio Series line. This is Air Razor. Now, I got this figure from Amazon.com. Um, it does appear that slowly but surely, Amazon is sending out the Rise of the Beast Studio Series figures. Unfortunately, they haven't updated Bumblebee or Battle Trap yet, so there's a good chance those won't be coming until May. But they are available at other retailers such as Hasbro um, Pulse, as well as the Command Store. And I even think they're shipping from Big Bad Toy Store. So you have a lot of options if you want to get these figures um, and not really have to wait for Amazon street dating. Also, as far as I know, they have not shown up at brick and mortar retail in the United States yet. Internationally, I don't know. I don't live internationally. Now, Air Razor, for those of you who may not be aware, at least the Studio Series version, is an upsize and retool of the Kingdom figure. Now, I don't have the Kingdom figure available. That's a line that's already over a year and a half old. The figure is packed away, and frankly, I, I just, for two seconds of a size comparison, um, it's really not worth it to pop out. I will link to the original Kingdom review. There's plenty of pictures online, so you can do the comparisons, but what I can tell you, at least starting off in beat bird mode, is the wings are different. A much more, what I'll call steampunk, type of look to them. Um, definitely these little hinges here look a lot more like VTO uh, vents, which is kind of cool. And you do have some of the molded feather patterns, but it's a different color scheme, a different layout. Unfortunately, one thing they didn't fix was the fact that uh, on this wing, at least, uh, it does still like to pop out and probably will pop out. In fact, as I'm rotating it just back and forth, I'm having to push it back. Oh, there it comes. Pops right off. I have to push it back into place. That's very upsetting that this was something that could not have been taken care of for a studio series figure, which is supposed to represent the quality of the upcoming film. Other than that, the bird mode features the same articulation as Air Razor's bird mode. The head rotates. You can position the legs, and of course you can do some stuff with the wings. Um, not much more to say about that, so we'll pause and we'll get into the transformation. Okay, to start off the transformation, um, if you haven't already, just go, go ahead and close the bird mouth. That's just, will save you some hassle. Also, what's nice is you can do the transformation with the weapons attached. I don't think that was something that was possible on the original Air Razor. But go ahead, fold the wings in. There is this, on these outer uh, segments, there is a natural stoppage. And then um, just go ahead and bring these sections back. We will fold them up in a few minutes. I'm sure you remember how that happened. One thing the instructions don't show you is that to fold down the tail section, but you need to do that to free up uh, the lower section here. And going from that point, just we can start working on the legs here, um, folding the ankle, bar, the bird ankles into the knees there, straightening the knees out, and then unpegging them from the waist section there and bringing them down. Then what we can do is, of course, the classic transformation. Rotate here at the thigh, and then rotate at the waist, and then rotate at the feet to bring around the, the robot feet. Just so you guys know, in uh, the packaging, the bird feet are actually rotated forward, and I actually didn't realize that until I started looking at the transformation. So with all that being done, the next step is just undoing the arms. And what you want to do is swing the arms out from the side here, rotate the, the missile blasters, whatever, down so they're facing forward, um, fold out the fist. Now, I do remember on Air Razor, the joint for the fist being a little more longer into the forearm, so that might be a thing, and then rotate them at the bicep forward. Now for something that was a little trickier to do on this, just because the joints here are so much tighter. You want to open up that back panel and then rotate the bird head down, which will bring up Air Razor's head. And this is a new head. Again, very steampunkish. But now you want to collapse the chest down. And I got to tell you, getting this from robot mode into bird mode is kind of tricky. 
And you just what I what I suggest is taking your fingers and pushing in on the hinges here. Careful not to catch yourselves, and just push them down until the as we all know the um, the hinges the waist will collapse into uh, the torso. Or I should say the torso will collapse into the weight. And, and as you can see, it is a little tricky, just massaging it down. And of course, you want to try not to like fold up the bird head and stuff like that. But get it down there. Yeah, there we go. And what should happen now, as it, it'll peg into there, the, the bird head will sort of sit into the crotch just like so and like I said it is very tight and make sure the bird head is fairly straight keep that head and then of course close up the back panel here and close up the tail section there and believe it or not we're almost done some of you might prefer to leave the wings out like this you can do that but the traditional way to do it is you want to fold these up fold them out and we're going to accordion them up so that peg right there fits into the slot in the back and a little tricky to do but once you get it just like that and then fold that section down repeat on this side again just boom 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 it's a little easier to do now that i've gotten it warmed up a little i do believe that in the packaging the wings come uh splayed out a little bit more uh that's just how it is, and these do seem to be, oh uh, yes, a little, a little friskier. Oh, no, no, oh, there we go. Just get it in. There we go. And down. Yeah, much tighter than I remember Air Razor being, but in this regard, I would say it's a good thing. But there you have Air Razor, Rise of the Beast Air Razor, in its robot mode. And one thing you should notice is that compared to the mainline Rise of the Beast figure, which we have seen already, this is not as clean of a bird mode. On that one, the bird wings fold up into the legs more, which you do see some extra detailing down here, the flaring there, but it's a different look. But this does carry over that steampunk type of image. And one thing I also want to mention is in terms of I do notice that this version of Air Razor, which it is, it is significantly bigger than the Kingdom version. Both are deluxes. This is about five dollars more. Uh, it is a little heftier um, in terms of weight. So, and, but you know, again, in terms of the overall size, it is bigger. Um, you have universal joints in the shoulders. We saw the bicep swivel, ninety degree bend at the elbows. Universal joint at the hips. Nice deep knee bend there. A lot of that's for the transformation. You have the swivel above the knee. You do have ball joints here in the ankles for the pivot. And, of course, you have that extra ankle joint, but that's, again, really just for the bird mode. And, of course, you have a ball joint here in the head, but the design of the head kind of limits it. And let's just come in and take a look. I do like they have, like, a little bit of a flying goggle motif here. Again, I think with these... Um, the beasts we're going to see in the Maximals in Rise of the Beast. I think there's going to be a bit of a steampunk motif going on with them. We didn't see it much with Cheetor, but I am seeing it here with Air Razor, and from what we've seen of Optimus Primal, I've seen it there too. I think it just might be in you know different different styles when it'll work in, but yeah, um, nice figure. Again, it's just basically Kingdom Cheetor upsized, so there's not really much more to say about it. But we'll pause, and we'll come back. Like I said, Air Razor is a fun figure. If you've handled the Kingdom version, you know what to expect. Um, obviously, this is one of the more popular Beast Wars characters, so it's good to see included in the movie. Uh, no idea about voice actor or actress um, you know, for the role, unless I've missed it. And again, we don't even know how much we're going to see of the character in the film. Uh, right now, from the trailers, there's this big flying scene where Air Razor is just laying waste to a bridge or something. It's like, it looks like 
to me at least, the Maximals are going to be heavily overpowered than, say, the Autobots, and really will be the ones to go toe-to-toe with the Terracons, but I could be wrong. Um, as I said in the beginning, I got this from Amazon, but it is available at other online retailers, as well as the first wave of the Studio Series figures, Core Class, Voyager, and Deluxe. Um, Air Ra- uh, excuse me, Amazon is sending them out piecemeal, so if you don't really want to wait, and I can't blame you, I would definitely recommend um, getting them all in one shot from another retailer, which, to be honest, I am starting to sort of consider just because, uh, I mean, I don't want to be one of the last guys on the block, but then again, these Wave 1 figures tend to stick around, and who knows, might catch a sale. But that's just some needless ramblings. Um, Fun figure, definitely recommend it. So that's about it for the review. If you like this review, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. I would always appreciate the views, the likes, comments, and descriptions. Help to communicate to YouTube through the algorithm that my channel should be exalted and held upon high. If you want to make the ultimate sign of support, I do have a Patreon. It is www.patreon.com slash chuckdog1999. Card in the corner, link in the description below. All I ask for is a dollar a month, $12 a year. No thrills, no tears, no special rewards. All you're doing is helping me help you to help me help you bring figures like this to you as well as keeping up the infrastructure of the channel. Now, I'm going to be really straight with you. In my recent checking of Patreon, I noticed that all my patrons have dropped off. And I completely understand that. We are in a time now where there is inflation. People are having to make hard decisions such as buying food or putting gas in their car to get to work. I don't want to put any more pressure on you. So if you can't swing the dollar a month or $12 a year, that's perfectly fine. As I always say, and I have said it from the beginning, your views are more than thanks enough. Patreon is just a cherry on top of an already generous Sunday. That's about it for the review. Thank you again so much for watching. This is your old pal Chuck for Rise of the Beast Air Razor. We will see you next time.